Esteban. Yes. The law of attraction and repulsion says like poles or similar magnetic poles repel each other. North with north, they repel. South with south, they repel. As you see here, south and south, they repel each other. And the unlike pool or the different pool of magnetic of magnet attract each other. North with south will attract each other. If we have two ring magnets like this, and we put the the first one north in the bottom and south in the top, and we put the other one south in the bottom and north on the top, they will repel each other like this. They will not touch each other. But if we invert one of them, when the two different balls nearer to each other, they will attract each other. Okay? Yes. So okay. the law of attraction and repulsion the different pools attract and the similar pools repel. Yes. I have a question here. The opposite figure. If the compass is placed near a magnet at point X, the compass near to ma magnet at point X, there is a compass here. Which figure represented the direction of the compass needle? A or B or C or D? We have B. here N. Just a second. B. We have here, yeah, just a second. We have north pool here. The compass will be the one nearer to the north will be south or north? South. South. Very good. So B is correct, Adam. B is correct. Due to the law of attraction and repulsion. Okay. Some more questions. Do you know the magnet force penetrate your hand? Do you know the magnet force penetrate a paper or your hand? You know this? Yes. If you have a, mag a strong magnet above your hand and some paper clips below your hand, the magnet can attract the paper clips. Uh, the magnetism penetrates your hand. Or if you have a paper, it can penetrate a paper. This is amazing property of the magnetic force. Before we start solving some questions, we have to watch a video about it. Usually iron or steel that are able to attract certain kinds. Watch a video, watch a video. Kinds of other metals. The force drawing objects to a magnet is called magnetism. And the area surrounding a magnet is called a magnetic field. Pieces of metal like iron or steel can be pulled to a magnet. This is called attraction. When this happens, the metal will stick to the magnet like glue. There are two ends on each magnet. One is called the North Pole, and the other is called the South Pole. Want to know an interesting fact? The North and South Poles of a magnet are attracted to each other and will always be pulled the two towards magnets each fail. other. As you see, they attract each other or repel? Attract. Uh, why they attract? Because they are not the same. Uh, they are different pools facing each other. The different pools or the opposite pools facing each other. When they are near the other. But the same poles of okay. two different magnets. What happened now? What happened now? They attract or repel? Rebel. Why? Because they are same pool. The, the same similar pool. pools are the similar pools are facing each other. They will ripple. Will push apart or this is repel the the other. And repulsion. Let's test this out. First, let's try putting two north poles. Now, north with north, attract or repel? Uh, rebel. Poles together. Good. Look at that. They are repelling each other. How about two south poles? Now we have south and south. They are repelling each other. Also How rebel. about two south poles? Uh, south with south, they will repel. Okay. They also repel each other. Rebel. Now, let's try putting a north pole and a south pole together. Can you guess what is about to happen? You are right. They are sticking together because they are attracted to each other. Why they are attracted? 
because they are different pools. Yeah, the different pools attract okay. each other. Cool, right? There are three different types of magnets. Temporary magnets, permanent magnets, and electromagnets. Temporary magnets become magnetized when a magnetic field is present and lose their magnetism when the field is taken away. Like when you rub a magnet against another piece of metal. You know you like, can make a magnet by this way? Like when you What? How can you make a nail become a magnet? On uh, well, by, by rubbing. rubbing yeah, by rubbing a nail by a magnet, the, the nail will gain some magnetism, some of the magnetic force. The nail become a magnet by rubbing. It gains some of the magnetic force. Rub a magnet against another piece yes. of metal, like a paper clip. The nail can, can become a magnet and it can attract the paper clip. What? Or a nail. Permanent magnets are made from materials like iron or nickel that are naturally or chemically magnetized iron and nickel are magnetic materials what else there is four materials we say they are magnetic materials iron and nickel and what else and uh, i know i know iron and nickel and the steel yes Finally, and the cobalt cobalt very good they are the magnetic material, the only four magnetic materials. And already have their own magnetic yes. fields. Like the magnets you use on your refrigerator. Electromagnets This are magnet is by... made by electricity. You can make one at home. Look at it. You bring a nail and you bring a, a copper wire and you wind the copper wire around the nail. And you connect the two ends of the wire to the battery. Now the electric current will move in the nail uh, around it in this coil and become a magnet. This magnet is called electromagnet. It can attract the paper clip. So what is the name of yeah. this magnet? Uh, electromagnet. 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 If you remove the wire from the battery. Is still a magnet or become not a magnet? If you remove the battery, uh, if you remove a magnet, uh, the the battery, it is still a magnet or become not a magnet? It lose its magnetism. No, no it will not oh. be a magnet. It will lose its magnetism if you remove the battery. Okay. Okay. So it is temporary magnet. The electromagnet is temporary magnet. Running an electrical current yes. through a coil with a metal core. The energized core creates a magnetic field, and when the current is shut off, the magnetic field disappears. An MRI machine is an example of an electromagnet. Electronics like TVs and computers also use this kind of technology. Magnets are used in many places for many things. Not just to hang up your schoolwork on the roof. Enough the video now. We come to the exercise. Okay. We will solve some exercises. Okay. Why we will not go to lesson three? We solve some exercises. Which exercise you we start with? Um. Complete. Or scientific term. It's scientific choice. term. Scientific term. Time. Choose. Okay. Where is it? Choose. Let's uh, start with scientific term is better. Okay. Metal paper clip are attracted to the magnet. This is true or false. We solved it before. Yeah. Where is the scientific term? Which page? Uh, 168. 168. Okay. Scientific term is very important question. 
Uh, it's very easy. Okay. Let's start solving it. This choose or scientific term. 68, there is complete and choose. No, no, not 68. This one. Let's start this one. 168. Eight. Yes, let's start from the beginning of the lesson, okay? A natural rock that has the ability to attract objects made of iron. Lord stone. Lord stone. Okay. Okay. Or natural magnet. Okay. Yes. Material that attracted to magnet. Uh, magnetic material. Magnetic. Material. Okay. Five. Number three. Material are not attracted to magnet. Non magnetic. Non magnetic Mag material. I I write it. I write it. Okay. Uh, the next one, an old tool used to determine the four main geographical direction of the Earth. Mm. One sec, compass. Yes, compass. Okay, next. Geographical pool of the Earth at the North Pole of freely suspended magnet. Geographical pool. Um, North geographic. Pole. Geographic. 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 If a North, how a how North? Okay. The geographical, zayu zayu, the pools of a magnet. So the same. The more the geographical, the same. Five. Like magnetic poles repel and the unlike poles attract. What is it? No of attraction and repulsion. Okay. Next. Magnetic field. The region of space around a magnet where the effect of a magnet force appears. What? What is it? Magnetic field. Okay. The next. A measure line that represents the force of a magnetic field. Magnetic field draw. Okay. The mutual magnetic force between a magnet and a magnetic material within its field. Mutual magnetic force. يعني بيتكلم عن attraction أو repulsion. Between a magnet and a magnetic material within its field. Attraction. Very good, Yad. Very good. طيب. Complete, 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 complete. طب choose. تعال نروح لل choose. Yeah. All the following industrial magnet except all are industrial except not a stone. Very good. The opposite figure shows the division of a magnet into three parts y, x. Z, which of the following represent the poles of these parts? Can you go down? Because you can see that. It's a D. Oh, 
the north, south, north, south, north, south. Very good, Adam. Very good. It's correct. D is correct. Okay. All the following metals are attracted to the magnet except aluminum. Very good. When a magnet is brought close to a mixture of containing the fillings of each silver, copper, and iron, aluminum, and cobalt. The materials are attracted to the magnet are um, iron only, silver and copper only, iron and cobalt only, aluminum and silver only, iron and cobalt only. Very good. The opposite figure represents two magnets. One a bar magnet and the other is U-shaped magnet. Um, when these magnets are brought to some point pins. The attraction becomes the strongest at the point A and C. Very good, Yada. Very good. The south pole of a compass needle points to geographical east, geographical north, geographical west, geographical south. Yes, very good, Adam. The opposite figure represents two freely suspended magnets. Which of the following type of poles? X and Y. Think again, Adam. They no, must be similar X pool or one. different pool? It's they must one. be similar or different? They must be similar or different? X and Y. They must be similar or different? If I put here Z. Uh, if I put here Z. Okay? Yeah, okay. So X and Y are similar or different? X, X and Z type. Type X and Z, similar or different? Different. X and Z, similar or different? Different. X or Z? Ah. Tab mish daya repulsion? Da keda repulsion, sir? I. If I X or Z similar or different? Y X and Z similar or different? X and Z different. There is a repulsion. There is a repulsion force. So X and Z are similar or different? Huh? Similar. Similar. X and Z are similar. طيب. X بقى and Y. Not similar. Different. Different. تختار إيه بقى? C. Which one is correct now? Think again. X and Z are similar. But X and Y are B, different. B, B. What is the correct answer? B. Oh, make it correct now. Make it correct now. Okay, Adam, now you understand it? Yes. Okay. The op the two poles the poles of two magnets attract each other when brought to close together, as shown in the opposite. Which of the following represent the type of poles of a magnet? A B C D. A 
Maybe, maybe here north. Maybe here north. And here maybe south. And here will be north. And here will be south. Which answer is correct? A, C. north. B, south. C, uh, south. And finally, N is north. Because they attract each other, the, the, the facing poles are similar, are different. Yeah, but C is correct, yeah. C is correct. Very good, yeah. Taib, you want to start a new lesson? Yes. Okay, let's start a new lesson. The gravitational force. The gravitational force or the gravity. You remember Newton and the apple? Yes. You remember the story of Newton and the apple? Yes. Newton was, was sitting under a tree and there is and an the apple for in his head, he said, I found it. This is a gravity. You remember this story? Yes. Yes. Okay. Here we have, we can classify the forces into two types. Field forces like the magnetic force and the electric force. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The forces that act the object over a certain distance without touching. Like a like the the field forces the magnet magnetic field or electric field or also magnet or also the gravity, and there is contact forces, the forces that act on object when they touch each other, the oh. force which act in object when they touch each other, okay, like friction or collision or elasticity forces. The Forces without contact, like the electrostatic force. When you you rub a, a comb and you approach it near two pieces of paper, it will attract the piece of paper because of it charged by electricity. This is a static electricity. And okay. the magnetic forces also. The magnet can attract or repel things. The magnet attracts things by a non-contact force. Also, yeah. the gravity is a non-contact force. The gravity also is a non-contact force because the Earth attracts everything has a mass on the Earth by gravity. But there is other forces called attract uh, uh, called the forces with contact, like collision forces. You remember in grade four we have studied the collision, yes, the accidents, and you remember the accidents. And the safety bill. Okay. Mm. And also the friction forces. Friction also is a contact force. When you rub your hands together, you feel warm in your hand. And yeah. also the elasticity forces like the springs. You know the spring, when you press on it, it returns back again. This is also a force resulted from contact force. Okay. Okay. A gravitational, electric, and magnetic forces are have a field, while frictional force don't have a field. Why? Give reason. No. Because gravitational, gravitational. electric, or magnetic forces have a field, while fr while the frictional force don't have a field. Don't have yes. Yeah. Why? Because, because the frictional force has, is a contact forces. force. But the gravitational, the electric, and the magnetic are contact forces. Okay? Okay. This man, this man is the founder of the gravity. What is the name of this man or this scientist? Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. Discover that all material ob objects in the universe attract each other. Yeah. In recognition of his scientific contributes, the unit of force Newton was named after him. 
يعني if you use a unit for force it is 10 or 5 or 20 we say 10 newton 5 newton 30 newton according to the name of Isaac Newton and he is one of the most famous scientists in the world yes you know the earth is like a big magnet The Earth is like a big magnet, and everything has a mass is attracted to the center of the Earth. Yes. And yes. there is a gravitational force affect everything on the Earth. Mm. The Earth's gravitational force. The Earth's gravitational force. The forces that pull or attract all objects. Downward toward the center of the earth. Because the center of the earth is made of iron. It is like a big magnet. Yes. And it has also a, like a magnetic field. It is called the earth's gravitational field. So there is an area around the earth. There is an area around the earth here. The earth can attract objects. But if something in space outside this area... If a spacecraft or a spaceship outside the Earth, does it attract it by the Earth's uh, gravitational force? Uh, if there is yes. a spaceship outside the Earth here, if this is a spaceship, is it, uh, and it is outside the, the Earth's gravitational field lines, it is outside the Earth's field lines, is it attracted to the Earth by gravity? Or it fly free in the space. Fly free in the space. Ah, uh, because it is outside the a. Uh, the Earth's gravitational Earth. field lines. Yeah. It is outside the field of the Earth's gravity. It is outside the field of the Earth's a gravity. Mm -hmm. But if there is something inside here, inside the Earth's gravitational field, it will be attracted by a. By gravity. Gra by gravity. So there is an Earth's gravitational field lines, an area around the Earth where the, the Earth's gravitational force appear. Finally, the lines of the gravitational field lines, the Earth's gravitational field lines, what are they? Lines that represent Earth's gravitational force. Ah, oh, the lines that represent the Earth's gravitational force. It is like a magnet. We say before, the Earth is like a big magnet. Yeah. And there is two factors affecting the attraction force of the Earth. What do you think? The mass huh? and, again, there is two factors affecting the gravity. What do you think they are? The mass Mass and what? Distance. Mass distance. and distance. Very good. So if two objects have big masses and two objects have small masses, which force is bigger between the first object, the big one, or the small one, which has bigger force of attraction? The big masses or the small masses the have big. bigger attraction force? The big, big. one. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. The bigger mass have bigger attraction force. The sun has bigger attraction forces than the earth. Yeah. And the earth has bigger attraction forces than the moon. Yes. Five. If two objects are the same in mass, and they are nearer to each other, and the same objects are far away from each other, in which case the attraction force is bigger. When they are nearer to each other, small distance, or when they are far away from each other. When they are, uh, um, figure one. Yes, near. When they are near to each other, nearer. the force nearer. of attraction is bigger. The force, the force of attraction is a uh, bigger. Big. And this relation between mass and the distance explained also by Newton. Yeah. The gravitational force, the gravitational force is mutual force between two objects acting on each other the two objects by equal magnitude but in opposite direction 
force. The gravitational force is a mutual force between two objects, but it is as they have the same magnitude but in opposite direction. For example, if you have a, a, a ball here, another ball here, okay, the attraction yeah. force here, the attraction force like this, they have the opposite direction. This is F1, this is F2. This is F1 and this is F2. They are equal. Yes, they are equal, but they are in a opposite direction. They are equal, but they are in opposite a direction. Direction. There, there is attraction force, and they are equal in magnitude, but different in direction. Mm. And also, the gravitational force increases as the mass of the two objects increase. And the gravitational force decreases if the distance of the two objects increase. It is directly proportional with the mass and inversely proportional with the distance. It is directly proportional with the masses and inversely proportional with the distance. Okay. You can say, I will tell you about a law of attraction or repulsion. This is the law of attraction or, re or repulsion. F equals... M1 multiply M2, M1 multiply M2 divided by D squared. You know this law? M1 multiply M2 divided by D squared. This is the law of the force of attraction between two objects. M1, well, the mass of the first well, object. Well, LM, LM. The mass of the first object, M1. M2, the mass of the second object. Yeah. And D square, the square of the distance between them. Okay? Yeah, okay. okay. So if I draw two objects like this, okay, the mass of the first one is, for example, 20 kilogram and the mass of the second one is 30 kilogram and the distance between them is 10 meters what do you think the result of the force between them it will be what by what divide what uh, 20 uh, by, by 10. 10 power 2. Yeah, 10 divide power 10 2. 10 power 2. Yeah, divide 100, okay? Oh. I'll stop here, Adam, and we'll continue. I'll stop here and we'll continue. I'll continue here and we'll continue. I'll continue here and we'll continue. Okay? Yes. I'll stop here and we'll continue. We're in the video.